Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Alienware X16 R2. To open this thin gaming machine, you have to undo six Phillips head screws. The ones in the middle and the bottom are captive, and they will slightly lift almost half of the panel up, which makes the disassembly process a lot easier. Fully pry the sides and the front. Don't pop the back. Raise the front of the metal plate, slide it forward, and lift it away from the chassis. This device is equipped with a 90 watt hour battery. To detach it, pull out the connector from the motherboard and undo the four Phillips head screws that fix the unit to the base. The capacity is enough for around three hours of video playback. To achieve that, you have to select the battery preset in the Alienware Command Center app and apply the Optimus mode in the NVIDIA control panel. The Wi-Fi card and the storage section are protected by metal shrouds. The two M.2 slots are compatible with 2230 and 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. RAID 0 is also supported. There are long thermal pads on the inside of the metal caps and another pair of pads in front of the slots. The Wi-Fi card also gets a similar cooling treatment. The memory is soldered. You get 16 or 32 gigabytes of LPDDR5X. 7467 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. All GeForce RTX 4080 and 4090 based laptops have 32 gigabytes of memory. The motherboard is inverted, and that's why part of the cooling isn't visible. The vapor chamber thermal system like the one here is reserved for top-end notebooks with RTX 4080 and 4090. The same iterations also come with pre-applied Element 31 liquid metal on both CPU and GPU dies, while the other variants of the notebook have this thermal interface material on the GPU only. We can spot a massive quad fan setup and four heat sinks.